Hi, Harold. Here is your property on 61st Street. You can see it's quite overgrown. Uh, needs to be trimmed and cleaned up. Even the weeds have grown up in through the windows. They've left a hot tub and an abandoned vehicle in the backyard and a lot of trash. That is a motor and an engine. The garage door is pretty torn up. There are no handrails on the back stairs and the back door has been kicked in is secured from the inside but it's damaged and needs to be replaced the basement door also is destroyed as well as the storm door that's on the outside of that basement door it's pulled away from the house broken light the light fixture itself is damaged and hanging by the wires some trim is coming off the windows uh, exposing rotten wood some siding is missing and the trees are on the roof causing roof damage inside you can see the hardwood floors are actually fairly decent uh, there's a lot of trash, there's a lot of light fixtures hanging from the ceilings, and you know they, they've stolen all of the plumbing. There's no plumbing left in the place. Uh, there's enough trash here to fill easily fill a 40-yard dumpster. The kitchen is filthy, but the floors are nice. The cabinets could be painted. The refrigerator needs to go. It's disgusting. Um, it's beyond repair. That's the back door. It's, it's uh, boarded up and uh, some stuff stuck in there. There is a washer and dryer that if they haven't been frozen or damaged, they should be okay. The furnace is destroyed. The water heater is gone. The plumbing has all been stolen. There's some more trash. just needs to be hauled away and, and gotten rid of. The garage door should probably be replaced. Again, lots more trash. They stole all the plumbing. That's where it comes into the house, the main entry line. They ripped out walls in the bathrooms to seal the, wall, the plumbing out of the walls there. As you can see, there's a hole under the sink, and this goes around the back side of the sink and the tub. There's no copper plumbing whatsoever. Um, a little bit of moisture damage probably from the roof issues. Uh, the electrical panel has been stolen and much of the wiring. This is the exterior of the house. Um, some of the windows are open. Some of the roof has some damage on it also. There are trees that are touching the roof and causing additional damage. So we need to get those trees cut back. Grass is quite overgrown. There's a lot of trash in the backyard. I'm going to turn around here so you can see the rest of the neighborhood. House next door, eh, all right, a little bit of disrepair. The one next to that, vacant, uh, abandoned, boarded up. The one next to that, uh, about typical for the area. Um, you can see several other houses. Um, almost all rentals in this neighborhood. A vacant lot where home used to be. This is actually a senior or retirement home. Um, and I think they're developing more of that up here. That's a positive for the neighborhood. Next door is a duplex, which uh, I actually used to manage many years ago. And then again, several more typical single-family homes for the area. Errol and know this neighborhood quite well. We've managed many properties there for well, the last 10 or 11 years. Property will rent for about 450 to 550. It's going to need about 20 grand worth of work. There's no plumbing. There's no wiring. There's no electrical panel. There's no. We need a furnace. You need a water heater. It's pretty well just been stripped.